In this video, we'll be looking at the email marketing app. This app enhances your email performance with AI to craft personalized, compelling messages that will resonate with your audience. All right, let's jump in. A marketing app, we have three options to put a description to give the AI information on your business and what you want to um, draft an email about, okay? So the first, you have a text where you can enter a business description. Um, and the second, we have an image. So if you have an image that you'd like to upload, the AI will analyze the image and create an image description. So if you want to send an email or uh, email campaign about a specific image. So even if it's like a flyer or something that has a bunch of information and you want to draft messages, then you can use the image portion of the email marketing app to do that for you. The third option is the website option. So this is where you will put your URL either for your website or for a product, or even if it's a URL for something that's informational. So if you found something on a website, like a, a Reddit page or, or something that you wanted to draft messages about, then you can just simply enter that URL. The AI will analyze the website and then it will draft a website description or a description of what was exactly on that site. And then you can begin your uh, email um, campaign. Okay. So you have different email types. Uh, the two types is abandoned cart sequence. And the second is a news broadcast. The abandoned cart sequence is a little misleading in the wording and we need to have the developers change that. It should just basically say sequence, meaning that someone, if you want to create, let's say, I believe it creates three to three to five emails, depending on um, the description and it'll create a, a series for you. So let's say on, you know, right after on day one, you said this on day three and day five, day seven. So that way you can kind of create a campaign and a sequence around it. The news broadcast is if you want to just send one message, uh, if you want the AI to draft one message for you, it'll draft that one um, message for you. And it'll also uh, leave a URL on the information that it found. So say for example, that you, it's a, something that's trending right now, like right now AI is trending. So something new with AI is trending. You put that in the description, then you want to create uh, an email message that you want to send to uh, your, your list. Then it will create a customized email for that a specific website. And then it will also leave a, your, a URL or it'll leave a reference to where it found that information. So that way, if you want to refer to, to that, if you want to refer to the link, you can do that as well. And we'll, we'll take a look at it. But as far as tone, you have several options. You can leave an inspirational tone, a factual tone, a fun tone, urgent or fear based um, tone. As far as the length, you can choose uh, using the scale. You can choose how long you would like the email to be. Uh, as far as uh, call to actions, you have different options. You, if, you, if it's a product and you want to say purchase or, or if it's something that uh, you want the recipient to sign up for, you can choose that and you can choose a different option. If you sell tickets to say an event or if you're hosting something, you can do that here or reserve your seat. So you can, it's the, these are the typical call to actions that you may want. As far as persuasiveness, you can choose a scale of how persuasive you want it to be. Um, it's also the same thing with creativity. And if you want to make it a little bit fun, you could add it. You could, you could give the AI permission to um, add emojis if you like. And if you are selling a product, you have an option to suggest the price. If you um, are selling a product, you can include the price in the email if you want as well. As far as target audience, the default is usually everyone, but you can specify if you want it to be like in my particular case, you, you know, I specify title agencies and real estate professionals. So it can kind of, um, be catered towards that audience. But if you want, you can leave it, uh, you can generalize it. If you have specific terms that you want in the, in the email, which is the optional, like if you want it to be, uh, uh, you know, going trends is if you say you, your, if you make it personal like that, that you speak into a specific person, um, that typically tends to resonate a little bit better with the recipient because it feels like the email was to, uh, specifically to them and not just a broad email that you send, like an email blast. It doesn't want, you don't want it to, if you don't want the message to feel like a, like a, like a broadcast where you send it to a bunch of people and you want it to feel a little bit more personalized, then you can use you and your in, in, in those examples. So I usually recommend this toggling on you and also adding your, I'll just do it right now while I'm here as well. Uh, as far as additional instructions, this is a ton of instructions to give the AI, but if you have some specific that you want to give it, you can add it is you usually recommend to leave it empty and just let the AI, you, I mean, with all, all these advanced features, you, you gave the AI enough information to work with. So adding on top of it can, can complicate things. But if you, if it's something here that, uh, we haven't thought of that you want to add and include, you can, you have the option to do that as well. Now, language is also important. So if you want to, if you're, if your specific audience is, you know, Korean or, or speaks Portuguese or Spanish, you can, you can include those languages here. Um, and then at the email will output in that specific language. So that's also important as well. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, let's do one real quick. So I'm going to use uh, the website and I have my website description already here. So to save time, I'm not going to put my URL, but again, you can put a URL here and it'll analyze it and you can see it here. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let me show you right here. So I'm going to use my website here. 
okay and take analyze website the ai is going to take a minute or two to analyze the website and then it's going to populate with a description um what i want to do is let's first choose news broadcast it's going to output one email and it's going to find news that's relevant to my, the, my niche which is um notary services so it's going to find some kind of some kind of uh website out there some kind of uh news broadcast that's happening um right now relevant to that topic so um i'm gonna wait for the ai to analyze the website again and pull in the description as far as call to action i want to schedule a call so i uh, based on the news based on the news that it finds i would like to schedule a call with with me on my team uh that's 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 one that's relevant right now so this is what it was pulled from the website from my website okay and everything else i'm gonna leave as default as far as the link i'm gonna put it here It'll make it you know not too long oh actually you know what? it's a news broadcast let's make it a little bit longer persuasiveness creativity emojis no emojis that's my that's my target audience i'm gonna say you one i want to say your so next english is the language and i'm gonna uh say create the email so in a few minutes the email is gonna be created all right i'm back so it looks like i chose the abandoned cart sequence i, I thought i chose the news broadcast but that's fine so it created the sequence uh it, it resulted with uh let me see one two three four emails so the, the first email will say sent to, uh, sent, sent to one hour later the second will be a day the third will be three days later and the fourth will be five days later so this is a, a email sequence within four days and you can see uh uh you know complete what you started seamless notary uh scheduling awaits and it says they're professional we could obviously change this with the person's name they're mr smith or whatever uh we noticed you began your journey with 247 closing but haven't quite crossed the finish line your path to seamless and efficient notary scheduling is just a step away. Our platform is designed to exclusively is designed exclusively for business like your streamlining processes and eliminated roadblock eliminating roadblocks. So that's one I'm not gonna read the entire thing to bore you, but you can see it created the sequence. So this actually is good if in an event that you say you say if you someone visited the website and uh you had like some type of um cookie in your website that tracked the, the person that came on the website then you can then you can um send them this email sequence which would be great okay so now let's let's uh let's uh delete this and we're going to change it now to um news broadcast and the call to action should be um schedule a call okay and let's go here and let's create the emails and uh we'll see it shortly so the ai created the email and this one it says uncover the future of real estate with 24 7 closers according to forbes key insights from business business bridge bridges uh, 2024 panel revealed the potential shift in the real estate landscape the panelists emphasized the need for adaptability digital transformation and local partnerships they also highlighted the growth performance the growth improve <laughs> the growth importance of local expertise trust transparency and sustainability at 24 7 closures our streamline notary scheduling service and triple check process exemplifies these principles and makes your real estate transaction smooth and efficient um, to make the most of these disruptive trends in the real estate landscape schedule a call with us today let's let's move together towards a more efficient uh, productive future so and it left a reference with Forbes so if you click on that link it'll take us there shortly and it showed the um the article and this one was uh Forbes looked like an international Forbes um article and it was just it came out on October 16th all right and uh this is it's pretty good all right awesome so we can see that we can use this as like if you wanted to send a, a broad a broadcast email to, uh, to our um clients and prospects we can use that as well okay so you can see the power of the email marketing app in the um in the, in the ai apps uh platform hope you found value here see you next time